Okay, let's see. Hey, so welcome or welcome back. Today we have a really special video and it is my entire fashion brand company collection as of like recently. Um, I'm still debating whether or not to get the non-verbal dress. It's kind of growing on me, so maybe we're just gonna like put a picture of that right here. Super cute. And um, yeah, I'm gonna start like right now. All right, so we're gonna start out strong. So first I have on my right the Sex House sweater and I think this is what took her brand off. So this retails for I think $135 and I bought it immediately when she restocked it. I think is currently still available and I'll have it linked down. Uh, pretty snazzy, this is an extra small. It's in unisex size, um, pretty much just men's sizing. It's a little big, but we got some cool tags as you can see. 100% Penelope Gazin's pubes. So yeah, we got some fun tags, uh, her initials in the back. It's funny because it says PG Penelope Gazin, but also like PG parental guidance. So this is a different sex house sweater. Okay, yeah, now I know. So the one that I showed you previously was the original and this is the sunny sex house. So the only difference is the color of the knit, the size, obviously, I'll get to that in a minute. And um, the little sun in the uh, top I think left corner. Yeah, I, I know right and left. So I had my alarm set to buy it because it's limited stock. All of her pieces are made in small batches. I was there on time, ready with my computer and immediately extra small, small sold out. And I was left with medium. So this is more like a sex house sweater dress for me. And um, yeah, I actually gave it to my sister because she wears this more than me. All right, so now we've got the sex house sweater, sweater vest. And um, this was actually, I think, the first sex house piece that I actually bought. This one fits me quite nicely. It is a small. I wear these with my Rocky Mountains. I'll probably show you right now. And um, it's got the little sun in the back. It's also part of, I think, the Sex House Sunny collection. And it's got her initials, clouds, the whole shebang. Pretty cute. Okay, so this piece I think is one of my favorites. This is actually the first fashion brand company piece I have ever ordered. And this is the curtain sweater. So it is a small, it's a little bit big on me, but um, gorgeous. I love the sleeves. Uh, it's got navy blue curtains and it's got, uh, you can kind of open them a little bit. They're called the cleavage curtains. That's what it is. Fun piece. Okay, so this is my second cleavage curtain sweater. This is an extra small. It fits me perfect. I love it. I love the polka dots on the uh, curtains. I love the color. Regardless, super cute piece. Very, I'm looking for a word. Statement piece. I think more than half of what's in my closet are statement pieces. I mean... Okay, so I actually did a video on this, and this is the moth mini dress. It's kind of like, I said it in the last video, Morticia Adams vibes. Um, it's got gorgeous green velvet and um, moth eyes on the sleeves, bell sleeves, and it's a form-fitting dress. So it complements my body perfectly. Right now I have an extra small, and I believe this was $135. Okay, so this is another one of my favorite pieces. This is the Virgin Mini Dress, and it is the white canvas, I believe. Yeah, we've got a bow in the back. It's got pockets, which is great. Um, the only downside, if you're more on the petite side like I am, the sleeves don't fit. So I had to kind of tailor them and I'll show you up close. And I have them pinned in the back. All right, so excuse the outfit change. I completely forgot about this one. This is the fashion brand company's brick house dress. And this is super special because this is the first version. Um, she came out with three different types and this is number one with the blue curtains and mustard yellow frames and yeah really glad that i got my hands on one of these really cute okay so i'm gonna crouch down because the camera's like i wanted you to see the full length and um this is the i don't know what they're called but my friends call them the titty pants because 
We got some double D's in the back. Now, if you know me, which you've probably... I don't even know if I've mentioned this on my channel. These huge boobs, I don't have any. Kind of. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i cheating. I have a bra on. Oh my god, I forgot to say. I got vaccinated today, like my second dose. So that's why I look a little like a patient. Um, I should have opened with that. But yeah, back to the pants. These are kind of like... I thought it looked more cowboy-esque with the whole stitching and this. These pants are so cool. I think they're skinny. Um, you'll see a try on like right now. It's got the emblem. And I got this in fashion brand company's mystery bags. Which, if you're familiar with the brand, she like randomly drops them and they're like 30 bucks. So I think these are like around 200 or 160 around that price range. And I got this for 30 bucks. So pretty sweet deal. Um, and super cool pants they're very comfy all right now for accessories i only have one bag from fashion brand company and this is the garbage bag i think this is the medium there's like a large medium and a small one like the micro mini i'm not sure if those are still available i think this one still is uh, but don't quote me on that um and it's really cute it's like this vinyl shiny material another statement piece if you will and um yeah i absolutely love this it's got a magnet inside. It's got a little scrunched. Oh, did you hear that? Okay, so I totally forgot. Um, I actually have this tote bag also that came in the uh, mystery bag. This is what the pants came in. And um, I actually use this almost every day. This is unfortunately my go-to bag and it's white. I get it dirty all the time. It's like $24, super reasonable. And yeah, I take her everywhere sex house sweater socks these are also unisex men's sizing pretty much and this is the medium barely fit me i wanted a pair so bad but the smalls sold out pretty quick okay and this is the final piece this is my mom's old leather jacket but i got a fashion brand company pin and i wanted to show you it is the perv one so it looks like a little badge it's got um a little red in the middle it says perv just very simple and um, that concludes my fashion brand company collection. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.